Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, in case you missed it, OpenAI just dropped some big news. They announced ChatGPT 4.0, which is like twice as fast and way more capable than ChatGPT 4. And guess what? It's completely free now. Yeah, you heard that right. GPT 4 used to cost $20 a month, but 4.0 is free. We still get all the cool stuff from GPT 4 plus some new features. There's Vision, where you can upload images and ask it questions. Then there's Browse, which lets you search the internet for up-to-date info. Memory is another feature that lets you remember facts about you. And it can analyze complex data, like Excel spreadsheets, for example. These features are rolling out in the next week. So let's talk about what's new in GPT-40. First off, the demo was super impressive. They asked it all kinds of questions, gave it math problems, and even had it read bedtime stories. The intelligence level and answers are pretty similar to GPT-4. The biggest updates are in the voice feature. The response times are super fast, averaging around 232 milliseconds, which makes it very fluently when it comes to conversations. It sounds natural. You're even interrupted by the AI just speaking to it and it will respond back to you immediately. And the emotion in the voice, wow, it's like talking to a super energetic friend. You can even ask it to change its tone. In the demo, they had it read a bedtime story dramatically and in a robotic voice. The AI can also sing and it sounded quite impressive. Another cool feature is the camera integration. You can point your camera at something and ask GPT-40 questions in real time. It's like giving the AI some eyes. For example, it can read and respond to what it sees, like identifying text on a shirt or, a, or on a book cover, for example. And there's a new desktop app as well. You can do everything there, text input, speech input, and upload images, and even screen share. It can look at your screen and help you with whatever you're working on. In the demo, they showed how it could analyze a graph, which is a huge boost in productivity for research and other tasks. Lastly, about the O in 4.0. What does it stand for? It stands for Multimodal Input Processing, meaning it can handle text, speech, and vision all at once. Previously, it processed these inputs separately, but now it integrates everything together. Kind of like the difference between texting a friend and having a phone conversation. That's the latest from OpenAI. Some really impressive stuff. Can't wait to see what Google comes up with next. Make sure to subscribe for more updates. And that video might already be out there, so check it out. Hope you enjoyed this one and catch you in the next one. Peace.